Hey guys and girls, so today we are going to be installing the Tiny Machines firmware on our CR10 V2. Uh, the reason for this is I've had some issues with the Creality firmware that was available. Uh, the runout sensor wasn't enabled in the firmware. I didn't really want to mess about with it. So that's the first issue. The um, other issue I've had is um, just the, the slight weird thing with the print quality that isn't due to the, the settings. So I wanted to see if the Tiny Machine... Uh, would fix that um, which it did so it's a re also really nice bit of kit it's, you know it's a really nice piece of firmware it's got loads of uh, additional menus so you can set the preheat uh, PLA temperatures that you want to use you can turn the runout sensor on and off uh, from the menus it's just really nice and it's available for um, the CR10 V2 and some other printers as well so you should should be able to upgrade your other printers if they've got bootloaders installed the same way um, so if you want to do the Ender 3 for example it's got options for uh, with the BL touch sensor or without the BL touch sensor I'm going to install it with the BL touch sensor today and the first thing you want to do is if you've got the BL touch already configured on the the machine what you want to do is you want to grab the Z offset numbers so just go into the menu and I'll show you this now so this is on um, an Ender 3 but it is pretty much the same uh, firmware um, to be able to just find it under motion probe Z offset okay so you've got those numbers and then what you're going to do is just keep those safe because they'll be the same numbers you need to use so you won't have to re-level and, and do all that sort of calibration stuff which is cool so you're going to need a couple of files and these will be in the description the first one is the usb driver now you may not need to install this but just you can do it anyway if it's already installed or you've already got it installed you might get a, an install failure error which is fine it just means that you've probably got the driver installed anyway so i'm going to right click this and run as administrator and then you should see this box here okay and this is just the install box for the driver just click install okay driver it successfully installed now once you've done that restart your pc okay don't no ifs no buts just restart it then connect your printer to your pc and restart it again i know that sounds a bit counterproductive but literally it will solve most of your issues okay so a lot of people on forums are saying oh it's it's giving me an error it can't connect it can't find the right port just do a restart it's the quickest and simplest way to make sure that everything is is set up and working okay once you've done that you need to get your x loader ready okay so x loader is the program that is going to allow you to uh, communicate with the printer and flash the firmware okay so you download it you unzip it and you'll get a folder and it will look like this okay and you can run this uh, from administrator okay so you can run the x loader so at the moment our cr10 v2 is connected to our printer uh, to our pc and we're good to go so we're going to run this as administrator click yes Make sure you click yes, and you'll see this little program here. Okay, now you're going to need the firmware. So the link's in the description, and you'll find this the index of firmware. Okay, and what you can do is you do a control F, and we'll just type in, um, just make that big and bring it across here. Yeah, so you can see it. Just going to type in and search for CR10. Okay, V2 and there are lots of different options okay loads and loads of different options that you can choose from so we got here CR10 V2 BLT so that stands for BL touch DBU 6.2 so that's the one I want okay that's that's the one I want it's the latest one and I'm gonna click and download that extract it to my desktop and you should have a hex file there we go so that's the file I want now there's loads on here there's loads of different machines on here okay if you obviously don't want the BL touch then you'll just want this one CR10 V2 DW 6.2 hex without the bed leveling sensor on okay so it's this one for the BL touch BLT or no BLT if you haven't got a BL touch 
there ready okay so now we've got that firmware downloaded what we can do is we'll come over to the X loader and we're just gonna find that file okay and that's on my desktop we're gonna make sure it's uh, the device is set to mega okay 2560 com port so it's com3 and the board rate is that's fine now the the com3 okay is uh, it might be different for you you might be on com4 com5 okay you will probably only have one show up so that is most likely it okay and then you want to press upload and once you press upload it will start to flash the firmware please make sure you've got your z offset saved okay and then when you're ready to go literally just press upload it will say uploading and your your CR10 um, V2 will at some point turn off and on do not do anything until this says until this has stopped uploading okay because it will knacker your printer so it takes a couple of minutes just to upload everything okay and there we go it says uh, how many bytes have been uploaded the machine has restarted and then I'll show you some of the settings on the menu and let's uh, let's jump over now okay so you'll see the tiny machines logo when it boots and we're on 2.0.5 and it is quite a different uh, little set of menus but it is very nice and also the BL touch will do uh, 25 points of uh, probing so I'm just putting in my, uh, or making sure that my um, Z offset is set correctly. And I've put in uh, 2.750 for my for my Z offset. And that it'll be different for you. And obviously if you'd followed my last guide, you'll know how to uh, set up the BL touch and just figure out your, your Z, Z probe offset. Um, lots of different menus. You can see the, you can see there the, um, run out sensor, the configuration for the nozzles. Um, so just have a play about, see what you think. It is a really, really nice bit of firmware. And I hope this has been helpful uh, for you. You know, it's one of those things that not everyone knows how to do straight away. So hopefully, hopefully it has helped you out. Um, do consider hitting that like button and uh, do consider maybe shout me a coffee if it has helped you, you know, my caffeine addictions are, still there and still as strong as ever so top right hand corner uh, you can shout me a shout me a coffee